Hey everyone, it's Dave from Dave's Ohio Barbecue. Today I am going to be installing a probe port on my offset smoker. Stick around. So um, I was looking for ways to get thermometer wires into my um, offset smoker um, because right now I run them under the lid and that holds the lid open about, mm, you know, eighth of an inch and um, it lets a lot of smoke out. So I'm trying to think, I was trying to look for a way to um, install something to run probes through that will kind of minimize the smoke leakage. Um, there's the Weber uh, silicone gaskets like I have on my um, Weber Smoky Mountain. The problem with those are those are designed for a really thin gauge of steel like the Smoky Mountain's made of. My um, offset has a little bit thicker of a wall than that and I, I think I'd run into problems trying to stretch the silicone to fit. Plus, since the metal is so thick on the offset, I'm, I'm really not looking to drill that big of a hole into the side. So what I did, I started looking around and I saw that they had these um, probe ports. They're these stainless steel, um, I don't know, attachments that you can drill a hole into your smoker and put them in. And then inside they have sort of like a silicone ring that as you tighten the outside of the probe port, it compresses down and it tightens around the wires to kind of minimize the amount of smoke. Um, they come in a bunch of different sizes. Um, the openings, I think, range from like, I don't know, an eighth of an inch all the way up to a half inch. Um, I got the medium size. I think it's called the quarter inch one. The reason being is the smoking thermometer that I tend to prefer to use is my um, Thermoworks Smoke. And if you're not familiar with the Thermoworks Smoke, if you look here, the end of the thermometers have this, you know, little, um, I don't know what you want to call it, this little um, unit on the end of it, the spring and all that, and it's kind of wide. So I needed something that was um, considerably bigger than the smallest um, probe port so that I could feed this thing through here. Also, the curve on the uh, meat thermometer, you know, you have to have a decent amount of clearance to get that to go in as well. Now there are cheaper um, ports that you can get on Amazon. Uh, there were some that were like selling for three for six dollars or something like that. This was the only port though that said it was made for smokers, but from what I've read, it really doesn't matter. So I probably got suckered into spending too much money. Um, so, you know, do a little research, shop around if you're gonna do this yourself. So if you look at the instructions that came with this um, probe port, it says, you know, you should start out by drilling a quarter inch hole then you should go up to three quarters. And then the finished size should be 27 30 seconds. Um, I do not have a 27 30 seconds metal drill bit, and I'm not about to go look to buy one for just one use. So I still have my uh, metal drilling step bit here. The closest size that this has on it to 27 30 seconds is, is 7 eighths. That's a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna try to stop right before seven eighths. I'm gonna stop at about three quarters of an inch um, and see if the probe port will fit. If it doesn't, um, I might take to my Dremel or some other means just to widen that hole slowly so I can get the probe port to fit. Again, I'm not looking to go buy any more drill bits or anything like that. So I start by um, marking my location. I wanna make sure it comes in an area on the side, you know, a little bit above grate level. I don't need it to be way up in the air. I don't need wires going everywhere and I don't need it to be right where the grate is. So make sure you double check that there are no brackets or anything on the inside of your offset that are going to interfere with your drilling in. I learned that the hard way when I did my um, Weber Smoky Mountain. I drilled right through one of the support brackets and it made my life um, very, very difficult. Uh, if you wanna see that video, I'll put a link up here and down below. You can go check it out. So I'm gonna use these first two drill bits, quarter inch, three quarter inch to get in through there. The problem is my drill bits are kind of dull, so it took a really long time to get through there. Then I took the step drill bit. Now I didn't wanna go all the way to seven eighths because that's slightly bigger than the required hole that they say you should drill at 27, 30 seconds. Um, so once I got to three quarters of an inch, I just kind of lightly feathered it. Um, and then what happened is, if you go from both sides, it kind of makes a almost like a thread, almost like a peak inside of uh, the hole you drilled. So then I took the probe port and I could just thread it on there. It took a little bit to get it all the way snug up against the body, but once I got the back washer on and kept tightening it and alternating it back and forth, I was able to get it snugged up really, really tight. 
So in the past when I've made adjustments to uh, smokers, I've always like kind of hit the inside with um, a little bit of high heat paint just to kind of get a coating on there. And I'm gonna do that again this time too. I'm going to uh, tape it off on the inside and outside and just give it a blast of uh, high temperature paint that I have laying around and let it dry. I've been told by many that this is overkill, that the smoke and the grease from your smoker will seal that up and it'll never rust, so don't worry about it. But in the uh, interest of being overly cautious, I am going to do it anyway. And then once I spray it with this high heat paint, I'm gonna let it cure for a while. I'll let it sit for at least maybe, you know, 25, 30 minutes. Um, if you really want it to be thorough, you could let it sit overnight. I'm just gonna make sure it's dry to the touch before I install the probe. Now it's a matter of tightening it down. You wanna make sure you use some wrenches. I have some adjustable wrenches here that I'm going to use um, to tighten that nut on the back. You really don't want this um, probe to be moving because you're gonna be twisting the outside of it back and forth. And if you have a loose probe, it's gonna come loose. So just make sure you tighten it down really good. Oh, as you can see, when you tighten it down, it closes around the two wires there pretty firmly. Um, I had to use a wrench because this thing's still new and it's not broken in very well. I usually would have maybe three or four wires going in there, so it would be a little bit easier to close. But you can see a nice tight seal on there. Wires aren't moving at all. No smoke is going to escape. And one last thing I did was I took a quarter inch bolt and I cut off the um, end of it so that I can stick it in there and just kind of tighten this down on it so that I don't have any critters or anything crawling in there while the smoker is not in use. That way I can just tighten it up around there. It's not gonna go anywhere, kind of seal up the hole. As always, if you have any questions, make sure you ask them below in the comments. Make sure you follow me on social media, Twitter and Instagram, at Dave's Ohio Barbecue. Um, and also make sure you hit that subscribe button, press the little bell next door to it, so that every time I have a new video come out, you get a notification. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.